It's this week's recommended Blender downloads. Toasty! Let's go. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now it's came to that time of the week again, but I scour the internet looking for the best downloads for your downloading pleasure. As always, please support third party developers and artists. Now I'm going to do a little bit of YouTube begging here, I do apologise, but YouTube is not a fan of me taking you off their website, they try to keep you on as long as possible, so if you don't mind, do the usual stuff, but let's quickly kick this off. And this is the Blender Auto Save Render, it's pretty good, I made a video about it a couple of days ago, if you want to check it out, it's up in the top right. It automatically saves your render, so every time you hit F12, there is a backup of it. It's pretty cool. Definitely one of these tools I recommend is in your toolbox. Let's move this over to Gumroad, and this is from Rescan. There is some very good goodies here. You have the Blender CT Scan X-Ray Shader, and you also have the Blender Array Modifier Explained. So if you kind of struggle a little bit with the Array Modifier, this might help you out as well. Jumping over to Blender Artist, this is a free add-on. Remember all the links in the description down below. This is the Mesh Stats 1.2 Polygon Counts, Engons and Poles. And it's essentially a statistics panel for all your meshes. Let's move it over to Gumroad. I'm kind of jumping back and forth here. I do apologise. This is the second time I've made this video because my microphone didn't work last time. How unprofessional. This is the Blender add-on Render Layer Manager. I have mentioned this before, but I think it needs a little bit more traction. This is from Sebastian. The Render Layer Manager is a free Blender add-on that provides an easy and fast setup of render layer and file output nodes. Honestly, what else could you ask for? Next one up is the Paletter. It's a Blender add-on for baking material colours to an image palette. Nice. You might want to check out separate meta balls as well. Some nice goodies there. Jumping over to Blender Nation. The new free grease pencil onion peel add-on. My god! Guys, you need to shorten these titles here, man. It's killing me. <laughs> there is a tutorial that complements the add-on. Definitely check it out if you're into your grease pencil. Onion skin, it's a must, to be honest. We're jumping back over to Gumroad. It's an electrical line generator for geo nodes. Geometry node setup for electrical line generator, Blender 3.0, and it's obviously the alpha version. Very nice. And also keep in mind, I did recommend the pole maker tool. That's pretty good as well. Next one up is from Grease Monkey. There is some pretty good things here, to be honest. You have the Blender Rain FX material. You have the Free Blender FX Energy material. Check it out. A really good resource, to be honest. And moving it over to Bradley Animations, you have the Free MoGraph presets. You also have Spline Avoiding Empty Blender at Animation Nodes, but this is the one I wanted to put a little bit of focus on, and it's the Free Preset Library for version 2.4, Blender Animation Nodes. Very nice. And just kind of keeping along this theme, this is from Joy C. You have Joy C's Node Groups. Definitely worth checking out. You have an ASCII generator as well. You also have a character base mesh. That's a quid. Oh, very good. And this is another great resource, and this is Mother Mouse Look Navigation Blender 2.9. So if you struggle with the navigation in Blender, especially if you're coming from another application like Maya or even Modo, this might be worth checking out. But they now have the cut, copy, paste Blender 2.9 add-on, and it looks pretty good as well. And moving over to my commercial add-on of the week, I recommend this. There is no affiliation link. It's just one of these things I've seen. I think it looks pretty good. I have tested it. It makes puddles and it's the Blender Puddle Shader. Awesome puddle effect with your PBR textures, no special setup required. And it really is quite easy to use to be honest. And moving over to my Sketchfab download of the week, the IMC Spider Tank was one of these ones I thought, oh that's, that's gorgeous, that is gorgeous. But I'm actually going to go for something a little bit more subtle and it's the childhood books. You always need books for a scene. I'll leave, I'll leave a link to the top 10 Sketchfab downloads. And just quickly wrapping up with the free PBR, you have the grid textured plastic PBR material. Nice. You can never have enough materials. And finishing it up is HDRI Haven, and it's the Canyons HDRI. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. You know what to do. Take care.